Whoa, this is so beautiful. I'm happy to be back in a video to show you the Northern Lights. And in this video I'm gonna tell you a little secret about the Northern Lights. You don't have to look always to the north to find the Aurora Borealis. But first, first we have to go to a place where we can see the lights. I'm from the Netherlands, it's impossible to see the lights from the Netherlands with the naked eye. I'm traveling with my friend Maurice. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So we go to the beautiful city of Tromsø. We've been there before and uh, I'm looking really forward. We're going to the cabin of this vlog. You can see this one above and it's a really good cabin. What do you think? Yeah, very yes? good. What do you think? Are we going to see it or not? Yeah, well, we're always lucky, so we will see it. The only uh, thing that's not really clear yet is how intense we're going to see it. Uh, but the, the skies will be clear, there will be some aurora. Um, so let's hope and pray we will see it a lot. Might just yes, start. well, let's go! It's a little bit cold here, but okay, without a coat, but uh, let's go. But I'm happy it's just a short walk and we can go inside. And the temperature is quite good here. Over here it is, outside yeah. is uh, minus three. Minus three, it's outside. Well, we're gonna pick up our luggage and then we go to our cabin. The trunk is too slow. I want my camera. We literally just stepped out of the car. We parked the car at our cabin. And let me search for my camera. It's over here. Uh, just going to try handheld. And uh, there's Aurora in the sky. Yes. Chill. Wow, 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 wow. Are we there yet? We can see it with the naked eye in the darkness. And we're gonna install in our cabin now. We just arrived. We have this beautiful cabin here. And the first evening we were directly lucky because we could see the lights. We call it stage one or two. Check the video above to learn more about that. Um, I'm outside now, it's morning. There is only five hours daylight. At this moment in Norway, it is uh, November. We will go to the city of Tromsø, drive by car, get some food and stuff, and then it will be dark again. And then it's time to wait and see what will bring this night and the next night so i'm really hoping to see much more the predictions look very good maurice my friend predicted in amsterdam already uh, I, i'm hoping for friday friday will be the night i hope he will be right right yeah uh, we're almost out of focus anything to say yeah yeah <laughs> well anything to say i don't know what to say look at this this is <laughs> the whole sky is dancing now at this moment this is really, oh man, you were right, Th Friday night, it, it's gonna happen. This is so beautiful, so it's amazing. Just in time. Yeah, you are very good in prediction. Yeah, I see you. Oh, <laughs> so fat. Holy shit. Over. Okay, come on. The rest, the rest. Yeah, this is eindelijk weer. For hours we're standing outside watching the aurora. Maurice, how do you feel right now? This is exactly what we came for. And now it's also time to reveal why you shouldn't always look to the north to find the aurora. This is not what you're seeing the north, this is the west. And to explain that, we have to go back to the plane 
how we got here. Uh, the pilot was just announcing that in this moment we're flying into the Arctic Circle. Then, if you're inside the Arctic Circle, you can see the aurora everywhere. You can look to the west, to the south. If it's very strong, if there are a lot of particles in the air, you can see everywhere aurora. And if it's really a big show, you see it above you. So that's the reason why you don't always have to look to the north, but let me say this, if you're for instance outside the Arctic Circle, for instance on Iceland, then of course you have to look north because there is the green light, there is Aurora Borealis.